cool to see you. Come in. Same here, Monique. You're doing marvelous with yourself. Oh, stop it. Come on in. I mean it. I'm Come serious. In. Badly for yourself, either. You've put on so much weight, but you still look good, though. Oh, please, please, Monica. <laughs> oh, what about your husband? He's fine, he's upstairs. He'll be down soon. You don't need it. Don't tell me Mr. Wakaolik is still at home by this time of the day. <laughs> Actually, he's on leave. That's notwithstanding. Changes in everything. You can say that again. Wow, well, I really miss you guys, you know, Monica. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Thank you. And I'm happy to see you. Monica? Um. So, Monica? Any news? About what? What are your plans like now? Plans? What for? I don't get you. See, look here. I mean, now that you're no longer a mother, at least you can do anything you want. What did you just say? Monica, look, I don't really mean to hurt you. Don't get me wrong here. I mean, at least you can do anything you want and get back to work. Enough of it! Stop it! Did I hear you right? I really don't need to. Uh, Grace, could you please leave my house now? What? Yes, you heard me. Leave my house! Monica, I am sorry. I said I am sorry. And I said leave. Use the door. Fine, Monica, fine. If you say so, I will leave. I will leave. Grace, I said you should leave my house this minute. I am. I'm Use leaving. the door. Go, please.
love is real. With your passion, the hats. Hello, mom. I do, don't be surprised. I tried calling my son, but he's gone. Um, I wouldn't know why, but he's not home at the moment. He left. I I thought you guys spoke. I th I thought you guys spoke to each other a while ago. Okay, I'll, I'll do just that. Couldn't be worse. didn't speak with his mom. What could he be up to? Hello, mom. Yes, um, just a quick one. Did you call Jeff to tell him you were Coming in. Um, <laughs> I know to be very, very nice to to see you. Yes, really nice. I just took a walk down to the tulip to get this for you. Your mom called. She did? Yes, she did. And she wanted to speak with you. She said she couldn't get through to you. Oh. I, I will. I'll call her later. And she said you never spoke with her. And you invited her over because you miss her. You called her, right? I am talking to you, you called her. I'm asking you, you called her, right? Jeff, what? Is there something I'm missing out on? What's going on? Is there something I need to know? Look at me and talk. I'm talking to you. Look at me. What's going on? What are your plans? I'm sorry. I'm sorry I had to lie. But I just want to see her. It's been years now. And I had a dream which I didn't want to. I had a dream which I didn't want you to know about. 
I know how much you don't want me dreaming of Angel. I know. And how much it will hurt you. I still see her in my dreams. And I hate when you're being disturbed. I hate it. So I decided to lie. Angel. She told me to tell mom to plant flower in her grave. That is, that is the reason, that is the reason I called her. Are you sure? I am sure. Then why did you have to lie? of being your model. <laughs> oh, 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 I bet you you attend you would have attended my funeral. Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> what do you have for lunch? Guess what? Your favorite, just the way you like it. Oh my word! Yes, oh. so get your ass on the dining chair and wait for the bomb. For now my, go. For my crooked go, go. Crooked, crooked, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I actually forgot. You forgot? She left quite early. What happened? I got mad at her and I ordered her out. But she actually pointed out something. Hmm. Which was? She said I could do anything with my life now that I am no longer a mother. So, what do you make out of that? You know, before now I actually thought motherhood restrained me from doing a lot of things. But I realized I actually restrained myself. 
I can't continue staying in the house like this, else I'll go crazy. And uh, I don't even want to think of your mother's visit. So what do you want to do? Um, I don't know. I'm still trying to figure that out. But I'll let you know whatever I come up with. It's okay. Um, whatever it is, just be rest assured that you got my backing. Oh, thank you so much, darling. On why you were mad at Chris? I don't know, I just... I just couldn't take it, I lost it. Well, still boils down on the same issue. That you... you see Reverend Father Timothy. For some mental questions, right? It's necessary. I'd rather see Dr. Vincent.
morning, ma. It's gone. He left my right room. To where? What was your doctor's assessment like the last time you visited the hospital? I I was treated I was treated of first level hypothermia. Were you drawn out of the ocean? I wouldn't know what happened. Haven't you gone to ascertain the possibility of your having more children from your daughter? Dr. Larry said I'm 100% medically fit to have kids, so there's nothing wrong with me. What is the problem? Nothing. Are you denying my son his right for sex? Your son, in fact, my husband and I, we have the best sex life ever. So there's, there's nothing like that. We're fine, I'm, we're okay. Nothing is wrong. Then something is wrong. Maybe something I need to know. There's nothing you need to know. We are fine.
I changed my mind. You changed your mind? About what? I went to see Reverend Timothy. <sighs> Come on. We resolved to use a therapist. Though, I've not met him. I felt I needed a spiritual approach to it because I hallucinated again today, but this time it wasn't about her. About who? Who? About, it's about you. About me? Come on, baby. Nothing is wrong with you. Eh? You're okay. It's a matter of time. You'll be fine. No. Hmm? You'll be fine. This time? Who is that? It's me, your mother. Come in. Monica, go to the city room. I want to talk to my son. This life is full of tribulations, full of circumstances, of trials. This life is full of tribulations. Full of Monica! It take you forever to answer me. I will plug one of your eyes off your head, you stupid girl. I'm sorry, mom. I I've just been feeling a bit weak lately. That's why I'm, I'm sorry about that. Did I ask you that? <clears throat> Hope you accepted what my son discussed with you last night. We had no discussions last night. Oh, I see. Maybe he was afraid to tell you about bad news. I am not afraid to tell you. Like I always say, Angel is the only good thing that came from you into me and in my son's life. I know you will object to that, but it is the truth. I owe no man any apology on the things I do or say. Therefore, I want to tell you again that I have never fancied you even after the years you spent in my son's life. The good thing is that my son is grown and over you and he has to move on with his life. His wife will be coming in from Manchester in a few days time. I want you to behave yourself and be a good girl. You know, some of us that have had a test of Western life, we have a different approach to life. She may decide to get rid of you, or on her own goodwill, she allows you to stay. You must not have anything to do with my son for your own good. So you start keeping the house clean as we await for her arrival. I don't want to ask if I have made myself clear because I know I did. I'm off to the mall. So take care of the house.
<laughs> Tell me you came all the way just to look for a girl to stare at. <laughs> well, you can stand here and stare all day. But, get out of my way. Promises, but my answer remains no. I don't want to model. What more do I owe you? You have something that is not yours, and if you don't want me to expose you, you can share it and go to peace. What are you talking about? I don't steal. <laughs> Say it! Say it for the world to hear! Uh, are you sure you want the world to hear it? Don't you think it's better for the body of us to share it? What is it? My heart. Just through my heart. But I don't want you guys. I want us to share it. I love you. I love You're you. very stupid. I think I am. Yes, you are.
can stay if you want to. No, 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 no problem. Okay. All right, then. I'll catch up with you. Okay. When you're done, just... Okay. Bye. Cindy. Thank you very much. No problem. Anytime. All right. Smile. Why are you smiling? Well, that's my selling point. It's my trademark. Okay. Tell me, what is it that you want from me? You took my heart. I want yours in an exchange. Look, Monica, I love you. I'm serious about it. This is not a game. Can't you say I am in love with you? I am serious about it. If this is a game, I would have called it a quit long ago. About the modeling deal. Can we just go out for a drink? Then we can talk about it there. Okay? So we're good now, right? You know she really has to be up and doing because it's gonna be a whole lot of going out and coming in now that I'm here. You know I don't like stress. You don't have to bother. She's equal to the tax. Oh really? Yeah. Well, well that's nice. nice. So mom, I don't really fancy what she's wearing. You know I think I need to change her wardrobe in it. Baby girl, you don't have to bother about that. I've already taken care of it before your arrival. Okay. Wow, that was kind yeah. of you, Mom. <laughs> Thank you. Um, oh, no. I don't think this will be necessary now. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about going and change and freshen up so it'll look good so you can get back here? You'll like what I'm wearing. Okay. So, Surprise, surprise! We are only waiting for you to come back home! Oh. 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 Jeff! Jeff, are you okay? Where is my wife? Are you okay? Of course you do that, I'm not okay! Monica. Mom? Where the hell is Monica for peace sake? What? 
He heard it was supposed to be your mate. Oh. What? What? Mom? My wife's supposed to be her mate? Jesus Christ. I can't take this anymore. I'm going out there to bring back my wife. And for your information, by the time I come back, in fact, I give you from now to tomorrow morning to pack all your shit out of my house. I don't want to see you in this house again. You know what I'll do to you? Why are you fucking with my emotions, mom? What is all this for Christ's sake? If you leave this house, that will be the last time you will be welcomed here. This is my house. Don't forget. You still want to remind me that the house belongs to you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Oh my God. I told you never to worry. To hell with your house and to hell with her. And to hell with everything from you! How so dare you? This life is full of tribulations, full of circumstances, full of trials. This life is full of tribulations, full of circumstances, full of trials. Getting trials in every area Sometimes we feel like giving up Cause what comes around us is not what we wanna see It's a taste of motherhood Tears of motherhood Trials Be strong, be alive To face and conquer death Trials bring more tears from people's face When they allow it Getting trials in every area Sometimes we feel like giving up That's a nice one, precious. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, she goes very well. Yeah, she is. She is. Um, lest I forget, Uncle, I've been meaning to ask you this important question. Okay. Ever since I came into your house from the hospital, I met only you and your little niece, Precious. Does it mean both of you live in this huge house all alone? Well, sincerely, Jude, I used to be a very happy man. Mm. But not anymore. I try everything I could to be happy. But to no avail. Anyway. I don't have time for that now. But it's not a bad idea knowing this man who has shown me lots of love and hospitality. I want to be part of your ending. Even if I wasn't there from the beginning. Please, sir. We used to be a very happy family. Living together, loving one another, sharing together until that fateful and very sad day thought of June 2012. 
with my wife and my three children perished in the Indiana airline crash. Remaining or leaving myself and my first son who fell sick, asked to join them to fly in that airline. It was a miracle, indeed. And today, my first son is in the United States of America. Pursuing a course in accident and emergency management. Mm. But that was life, life was bad. Life has to continue. <laughs> sure. Yes, life has to continue. Yeah, it has to. <sighs> it has to be sure. That's too. That's why it is like this. <laughs> My little niece had to come along oh. later. Okay. To stay here with me. It's okay. It's okay, sir. I understand. I understand. Life continues. Okay. Life has to continue. Sure, sir. Still to continue. For you to come home so I can take my leave for lunch. Why? Because there's no food at home. If you are the woman of the house, you're supposed to cook for the family. Mom, you know I'm not in for that crap. And like I said before, I don't like stress. I asked you to go get a maid for me and you're not doing anything about it. So, what am I supposed to do? Mom, I think I need to take my leave.
woman. How? She's a woman. Every responsible woman is not comfortable with her. No, don't want to them in her home. Oh, what? Yes. My own wife, another woman? Yes. The woman in question happens to be my wife. And the items belongs to her. She's pregnant. And if anything happens to my grandchild, I will never forgive you. It is not over. Idiots.
just recently, I, I started having these unpleasant dreams at night. May I know the nature of those dreams? <laughs> Uncle, the point is that I can't place any finger on them. Whenever I wake up, they, 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 they disappear out of my memory. I think we need to go back to Dr. Larry to do a malaria test on you. Uncle, this is not malaria. I know what I'm talking about. But that reminds me, we need to trace your route. The last time we discussed it, you did not agree with me. But I think we should meet your people and sort out things. There's no harm in trial, my dear. This was exactly how my mom persuaded my father to take her to the village. And, and they didn't come back. You mean they died in the village? On their way back to the city. Uncle Joe, I don't want to go to the village. Sorry about that, but you don't have to worry. We will go and nothing will happen to us. All you need to do is to trust in God and be very prayerful. No one runs away from his home forever. Please tell the driver to pull over. Oh. Why? He was, is there any problem? I've been managing myself ever long. My bladder is full now. Oh. I too, I want to ease myself. Uh, Emmanuel, um, find a suitable place to, to park so we can ease ourselves. Okay? Yes, sir. Something is telling me that a strange thing could happen. But this is ridiculous. You should have told me instead of putting up this act. Hmm? Meanwhile, I appreciate all you've done for me. God bless you richly. As I always say, I cost it all myself. Oh, you stop, stop. I can take care of myself now. Jude. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Oh, now, 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 now. Listen, I understand. Just calm down, it's alright. Eh? Calm down. Hmm? Let's go back to the house. Okay. No more going to the village, okay? Okay. No more going to the village, I promise you. Now let's go. Sorry.
Me too. Me too. It came very close to me. And, and I, I shouted, Jesus. It disappeared. Jude, I think this is becoming unbearable. Very unbearable. I think we need to see my pastor. Your pastor? Yes. Uncle, I know whom to see. Excuse me, who? <laughs> yes, sir. His name is Mr. Lofty. He stays at Festac. Uncle, I need to see him. Please take me there. This Mr. Love dear. Is he a spiritualist? No. But I really need to see him. Him and his wife. Help me now. I'm in some kind of deep shit. Yes. Just I need to leave this country now, please. No, come on, we'll talk when you get here, please.
circumstances of trials. This life is full of tribulations, full of circumstances of trials. Getting trials in every area. Oh, God. 
Oh, no. 